I'm shaking. I didn't think it was possible. I opened the door. I opened the door. Oh yeah. Hello everyone and welcome to London day four. It is an early start for us today because we've got Harry Potter in a couple of hours. Mom and Trina. Hi. My morning was off to a very interesting start, guys. I woke up at 7 and I had a couple of texts from Nico. Let me read them out to you guys. Are you still up? Do you know an Alan in your building? I ordered something for you and the lobby was locked and they couldn't reach you so they left it with Alan. Oh my gosh, who the hell is Alan? And then I replied, half asleep. Alan, here in London, huh? Nobody tried reaching me. What lobby? So it turns out Nico ordered something from me from a British company here. There was already a first failed attempt to deliver whatever it was well, and was then this a store oh a store okay and then the second time apparently we weren't home nobody was answering so they left it next door with Alan and they said there that oh you can only get it at night because Alan's not there in the morning blah 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 so I was like you know what it's early maybe he hasn't left for work yet I'm gonna try in my pajamas with mom's waterproof coat and white Air Force Ones my hair up in a chuck check like this I went outside I went to 48 I knocked I kid you not it felt like a freaking movie the door opened and it's this really tall, hot, shirtless, half-asleep guy who turns out to be Alan. Now Alan has piercing blue eyes, gorgeous blonde hair, six-pack abs, and a tattoo in his shoulder. I literally felt like I was in a movie or like some show. And then I said, hi, I'm sorry to wake you, but are you Alan? And then he said, yes. And then he goes, are you the flowers, girl? One second. And then he goes into his house to get the flowers. And I said, I'm so sorry for waking you. And he said, no, it's okay. I need to be up anyway. I said, thank you so much. Have a good day. And he was like, have a good day. Okay, number one, the people here are so kind. Number two, why do they look like they're in a commercial or a movie? That's just, Trina, he was so hot. So Nico, if you're watching, thank you for the two surprises. The beautiful flowers and the beautiful <laughs> This is what Nico sent me. They are these flowers. Oh, they're lovely. That's my morning. I'm going to eat my toast and sausage now, drink my coffee, and then get ready. All right, guys. We are now making our... Making our way down. <laughs> Currently making our way to Euston Station, where we're going to check the train times that will take us to Watford Junction, which is where the shuttle buses are. We're making good time. Hopefully, there's going to be a train right away because the journey varies from like 17 minutes to like 40 minutes depending on the train schedule yeah it was supposed to rain the whole day but it turns out it's nice and cool i have our tickets in my bag we're all good We made the train, oh my goodness, I thought we weren't gonna make it. We had to run to the main part of the station, we even check information. We're on the right train. We have to be there before 10, so I think we're making good time. Trina's over there, mom is over there. got off Watford Junction. Here's mom. Here's Trina. We survived. And now we're just waiting for the shuttle bus that will take us to the studio. Because we booked via Cluck, we don't need to pay the shuttle bus anymore. That's something I highly recommend. If you guys are looking at different tours, especially if you're coming to London, try as much as possible to buy your tours in advance. That's what we did. We even had some discount codes, so we ended up saving a little bit of money. the Warner Brothers studio tour of Harry Potter. I have to go get our tickets. We have our passport. We have our return ticket for the shuttle and we've got free butterbeer each. <gasps> My muggle self is ready. We're only by the, like, the main lobby and I'm already freaking out. Ah.
I freaked out because I I was dreaming of this like for the longest time like I was following the tour and everything I knew that Green Gods came in April and if you celebrate your birthday you get to open the Great Hall so I was like okay you know what I'm just gonna raise my hand whatever and I was the only one I was the only celebrant I got to open the hall oh my god I wanted to cry Trina has it on video so I'll pop it on the screen for you guys <laughs> Fantastic. Round of applause, I'm very excited to go. Oh my gosh, we're here. We're a few minutes in and already I'm geeking out beyond belief. We are so overwhelmed there is so much to see it is brilliant guys and so interactive like we just came from the potions classroom and there were several ladles that were just mixing all on their own it's so freaking magical oh my gosh Hagrid's hut he wants to see where Hagrid lives We are currently lining up for the Quidditch interactive corner. I think we're gonna get to like command the broom. I've got my glasses on because I do not want to miss a single detail. Mom is knitting. Good job, Mom! Ron Weasley's house. Yeah. Iron the clothes. Okay, you wanna iron the clothes, Mom? Oh, there it is. You guys see the iron moving? Oh! Oh, you go, Mom! <laughs> Are you washing the pan? Yeah.
we just finished battling Death Eaters. I feel like my left arm is like super defined now. So this is a scary part. It's the Forbidden Forest. Let's see just how scary it is. They say that if you're afraid or if you have a weak heart, don't enter the Forbidden Forest. <gasps> Doing some shopping, casual. Are you guys happy to be here? We're making our way into the train. Did a spot of shopping. Oh. Oh my goodness. So it's 11.51, basically lunch. We've made our way to the Backlot Cafe and I think we're going to have some lunch here. Hello. Trina and I are currently lining up for lunch. Um, we're going to get our food first and then we're gonna go for our butter beer after. What did you decide to get? Like, Probably what are you gonna burger. get? The burger, the backlot burger. Yeah. Carnivore. I'm gonna get the chickpea burger. Oh my god, they've got Starbucks here? Yes. We just got our food. We're gonna have a nice lunch. And then for our dessert, we're gonna have butterbeer. Nobody's like, my day. Really good. Yeah, mom's like super hungry and ready to devour her food. For the first time, we're actually eating our lunch on time. I went for the spice chickpea burger, so it's vegetarian. Trina has the back law burger with fries. And mom went for the messy dog, which has pulled pork in it. Dig in, fam. Brought my own water. Save the environment. So we're ready to eat. Look. Amazing. Cheers! Here it is, guys. An actual butter beer. It's so good. Because of our Kluk booking, we got free butter beer. We had vouchers. And then we only had to pay an additional three pounds for the cup, the souvenir cup. Because if you wanted to buy the beer itself with the cup, it would be six pounds sixty-five, I think. So we ended up saving a couple of pounds, which is really, really good. It's caramel and vanilla ice cream. So good. Casually having lunch with a Death Eater. <laughs> Hi! They don't talk. They're in character. They don't talk. We were just trying to be friendly. <laughs> I'm gonna set you guys up here. So we've got a lot more exploring to do. We're gonna finish up our butter beers and then we're gonna head on outside because the night bus is there as well as the Hogwarts Bridge. And then Ron's car is over there as well and the tricycle. So there's still lots to see.
This is an accurate representation of if mom were to drive this contraption. Go mom! <laughs> This is actually the latest addition to the Harry Potter studio tour here in London. It's going God's Bank. It opened in April 2019 and according to Matthew earlier at the entrance, they keep adding more and more attractions. the last couple of minutes talking to Kevin. He's one of the interactors here at the tour and he was such a lovely man. He had so many cool stories for us about celebrities that come here. Emma Watson was just here about eight or nine months ago. Like she literally just drove up to the parking lot, called them up and was like, hi, I'm here. Can I go on the tour? He gave me a birthday badge because it was my birthday yesterday. I'm gonna cry. This room is so beautiful, guys. It's, it's Hogwarts. This is the model that they used for all of the shots outside. Oh my god, if anything, this room makes everything worth it. Wow. large gift shop at the end of the tour and I'm getting a pendant engraved with my name that is the Hogwarts acceptance letter. It's all y'all watching. You can get your acceptance letter to Hogwarts. You just gotta get it at the gift shop. And there you guys have it. That's the end of the Harry Potter Studios tour here in London. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wasn't able to really take every single bit. Also because I feel like it's a place that you guys should definitely visit. Make it part of your itinerary. Trina, mom, what would you give it? Ten. I would give it a solid 10. I nearly cried at so many parts of the tour because it's just so magical. Guys, from props to sketches to script, sets, everything, everything that you love about Harry Potter is right here. So please do give it a visit. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to know. And leave a comment down below of your favorite Harry Potter book or movie. We would love to know or your favorite character. Or better yet, which Hogwarts house are you? And we'll see you guys again soon for another video. Bye!
So we're back at the flat. I'm currently eating a pint of Ben and Jerry's chocolate fudge brownie because it was on offer for three pounds. I am living my best life. We're watching British TV. Mm. It's been a couple of hours and let me tell you, way too much money was spent in Randy Melville. <laughs> We literally just went back to Brandy Melville because I wanted to buy a couple of things. We are cooking dinner and by we, I mean mom and I. <laughs> <laughs> Trina is our moral support. She's the best cheerleader. We've got our second load of laundry in the washing machine. Our first one is already hanging to dry. I've got some chicken in the oven and some potatoes. Mom is making Trina some steak that looks delicious. Tesco olive oil with garlic. It's just amazing. My flowers are so pretty. I would show mom, but she's not wearing pants. <laughs> Just finished dinner and mom and Trina have dessert. In Covent Garden, we spotted Lola's cupcakes. They both went for a chocolate cupcake and they look glorious. It even says handmade in London. I'm having my second glass of wine and munching on some Terry's chocolate orange minis. Okay. Bye! Bye! Bye.